Hey everyone, welcome to the Simply Learn YouTube channel. Today we will be exploring prompt tuning and we will be commencing with a story. In the heart of Technoville, a city powered by the marvels of AI, lived the universal language model, ULM, an AI capable of understanding and generating text like human like fluency. While the ULM was a cornerstone of innovation, serving varied purposes across education, healthcare, and beyond, it faced challenges in meeting the specific needs of its diverse users. And here, ULM term is intended to illustrate a conceptual, all encompassing language model capable of understanding and generating human like text across various applications and domains that is similar to how large language models like LLMs and GPT, generative pre trained transformers, act. So, let's enter the world of prompt tuning, a technique akin to providing the ULM with a compass, guiding its vast intelligence to focus precisely on the task at hand. Consider Mrs. Ada, a teacher who leveraged prompt tuning to direct the ULM in creating customized educational materials on ancient civilizations, filtering out the noise and honing in on relevance. Similarly, entrepreneur Leo used prompt tuning to refine his virtual assistant's recommendations for eco-friendly travel, ensuring accuracy and personalization. Prompt tuning transformed the ULM from a generalized into a specialist allowing it to adapt its responses to fit the unique demands of Technobile's inhabitants. However, the journey revealed a critical balance, prompts too narrow risk, stifling the ULM's creativity, while too broad a scope led to diluted relevance. Through the tale of Technobile, we witnessed the essence of prompt tuning, a testament to human ingenuity, demonstrating our capacity to shape AI to our nuanced needs. It's a story not just of technological advancement, but of creating a harmonious dialogue between humanity and artificial intelligence, illustrating the endless possibilities when we master the art of guiding AI with precision and insight. And before we move on, just a quick info for you guys. If you are one of the aspiring AI and ML enthusiasts looking for online training and graduating from the best universities, or a professional who elicits to switch careers in AI and ML by learning from the experts, then try giving a shot to Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and ML in collaboration with Purdue University and IBM. By enrolling in this certification program, you will gain expertise in skills like generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, explainable AI, machine learning algorithms, supervised and unsupervised learning, model training and optimization, and there's much more on the list. So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and enroll now. You can find the course link in the description box below and pinned comment. So let's get started. So let's first understand what is prompt tuning. So prompt tuning is a method that enhances the adaptability of large language models for novel tasks by fine tuning a minimal set of prompt parameters. This technique involves appending a tailored prompt before the input text, directing the LLM to generate outputs aligned with specific objectives. Its efficiency and versatility have made it a local or focal point in natural language processing advancements. So let's understand prompt tuning. So prompt tuning is the practice of customizing LLMs for new applications by adjusting a limited subset of parameters known as prompts. So these prompts placed before the input navigate the LLM toward producing the intended output. And now we talk about the advantages of prompt tuning. So the number one comes is efficiency. So unlike comprehensive model fine tuning, prompt tuning modifies only a select few parameters enabling quicker task specific model adjustment and then comes the versatility. So this approach is applicable across a spectrum of tasks from text generation and analysis in natural language processing to image recognition and automated coding, showcasing its adaptability to different domains and then comes the interpretability. The modifiable prompt parameters allow for an examination of how the model's output generation is influenced, offering insights into the model's processing. So this was about the advantages of prompt tuning. Now we'll move to the key challenges as prompt tuning and we'll write some prompts and see how we can prompt tune the chat GPT model and we can generate the outputs we want. So let's move to chat GPT and here first we'll draft or craft effective prompts. So crafting prompts that effectively guide the model without being overly complex is challenging. So to avoid them, we will write some prompts and let's see. So we will take a fresh example for crafting precise prompts. So let's consider a scenario and consider you are part of a financial analysis firm specializing in renewable energy sectors like solar and wind power. 
you aim to leverage a language model for extracting market trends, investment opportunities, and regulatory impacts specific to these sectors. However, you wish to exclude general energy market data or information about fossil fuels and non-renewable sources as well as omit any direct mentions of rival firms or their investment products. So what challenge you will face here is, your objective is to direct the AI model to furnish targeted insights on renewable energy sectors while filtering out non-relevant information and avoiding any specific mentions of competitors and their offerings. So for example, uh, we can write a prompt that give me all details on renewable energy sectors including solar and wind power but skip all info on other energy types and ignore data about companies like you could name the companies like eco power ventures and their solar boost investment fund so this is the ineffective prompt so this prompt is ineffective because it's overly detailed and instructs the model on what to exclude in a way that could be confusing potentially leading to an over focus on the exclusions rather than the desired content so if we talk about the optimized prompt what you can write is provide an analysis of current trends investment opportunities and the impact of regulations in the renewable energy sectors specifically focusing on solar and wind power exclude general energy market trends and specific investment products so this refined prompt clearly directs the model towards the needed information that is market trends opportunities and regulatory impacts within solar and wind energy without cluttering the request with too many exclusions it certainly implies the need for exclusively by focusing on specifically focusing which naturally guides the ai to omit unrelated sectors and competitor products facilitating a more focused and relevant output so now let's see this example and this is the inefficient prompt so we'll copy this and paste it to chat gpt and let's see what output it will provide to us So you could see that it has provided us the output but this prompt is ineffective because it's overly detailed and instructs the model on what to exclude in a way that could be confusing. Now we'll write the correct prompt as that is the optimized prompt. But I've told you that is provide an analysis of current trends, investment and opportunities and the impact of regulations in the renewable energy sectors, specifically focusing on solar and wind power and exclude general energy market trends and specific investment products. So this is the optimized prompt and it will provide a good result and a good output. So you could see that it has started with the current trends only. You could see the output and this is the desired output what we need and the chat GPT has provided with the optimized prompt. Now we move to the next challenge that is avoiding overfitting. So there's a risk of the model becoming too specialized to the training prompts, reducing its ability to generalize. So strategy for this broad application is to prevent over specialization prompts that should be designed to be broad enough to encompass a range of related queries enhancing the model's versatility. So for this also, we will draft an optimized and unoptimized prompt. So let's think of a scenario that you are developing an educational platform that uses a language model to generate study materials for high school biology, covering topics from cell biology to ecology. Initially, you fine tune the model with prompts focused on very specific areas like photosynthesis in plants. So initial prompt we can write is explain the process of photosynthesis in plants, focusing on chlorophyll's role and light absorption. 
So while the model excels at generating detailed content on photosynthesis, it struggles when asked about broader or slightly related topics such as cellular respiration or plant adoptions to different environments. So the issue we encounter here is when students query how do plants adapt to low light conditions. So the model will fail to provide comprehensive answers because it's been too narrowly trained on photosynthesis specifics. So the solution for this overfitting challenge is to prevent overfitting and enhance the model's ability to generalize across the broader subject of biology. You should utilize more inclusive prompts that cover a range of topics within the field. So we have the revised prompt here that is provide an overview of plant biology including key processes like photosynthesis, cellular respiration and adaptions to environmental factors. So this broader approach encourages the model to generate content that's relevant across various biology topics, improving its utility for educational purposes. So this is the prompt and we'll ask ChatGPT that is provide an overview of the plant biology including key processes like photosynthesis, cellular respiration and adaptions to environmental conditions. So this will improve its utility for educational purposes. So let's move to the next concern that would be scalability concern and you could see that it has provided the desired output for the photosynthesis and the environmental factors for plant biology and as we talk about the scalability concern so as the training data volume grows maintaining the efficiency of prompt tuning becomes more challenging necessitating innovative solutions to streamline the adaptation process. So now we'll talk about its prompt also. So scalability, that is implementing AI for diverse customer service inquiries. So let's consider a scenario. Your company aims to deploy an AI chatbot to handle customer service inquiries across different departments from technical support to billing and account management. Initially, the chatbot is trained with specific prompts for each category, performing well in small case test. So what challenge will you face with this prompt is or with this scenario is as you scale the chatbot to handle thousands of inquiries daily across a wide range of topics you find that the initial approach of using highly specific prompts for each category is unsustainable so the chatbot struggles to adapt the vast and varied nature of customer queries and we'll face the scaling issue also here that is the specific prompts used during initial training don't cover the breadth of potential customer inquiries leading to inadequate responses in unanticipated scenarios so what strategy we can apply for scalability is instead of relying on narrow specific prompts for each inquiry type, your transition to using broader, more adaptable prompts that can guide the AI in understanding and categorizing a wide range of customer questions. So we can have an adapted prompt example and I have one that is or we can write here that would be identify the category of the customer's inquiry that could be technical billing account management and provide relevant assistance based on the identified category so this strategy allows the chatbot to more effectively process a variety of inquiries by understanding the context and categorizing questions before generating responses making it more scalable and versatile in handling customer service tasks so if we address prompt tuning challenges it is simplifying complex prompts that is begin by clearly identifying the core information or action desired from the LLM, breaking down multifaceted prompts into simpler, more focused requests, employ straightforward language and eliminate non-essential elements to clarify the prompt. And then we have utilizing soft prompts. So soft prompts, which are non-textual signals trained from examples, guide the LLM without explicit worded instructions. So these are particularly used for tasks with limited training data or where interpretability is less critical. And then we have innovative optimization techniques. So the development of parameter efficient fine tuning techniques such as P-tuning optimizes the search for effective prompts in a continuous space, making it feasible to tailor LLMs to specific tasks without extensive retraining. So this was all about the prompt tuning. And there you have it folks. We hope you enjoyed this insightful tutorial. 
and we have come to the end of this session. If you like this session, then like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, then you can drop them in the comment section below. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.